So this is actually HBCU week in Wilmington, and this was something that started last year. And HBCU, for those of you who don't know, stands for Historically Black Colleges and Universities. And uh, something really cool happened um, last year during the HBCU week. It was the first year that they ever did it. Um, um, Ashley Christopher and Earl Cooper in the mayor's office had the idea to, to put on this event, mostly because um, they looked around the, off the mayor's office um, and saw that most of the people there had graduated from HBCUs and they realized that Wilmington had never had right. a, an event for, for that. And um, so they put on an event. They were expecting maybe 100, 150 yeah. people. Yeah. They ended up getting 700 kids to yeah. come out to this event. Yeah. And they, uh, a lot of them got accepted on the spot. On the spot. On the spot at these places. And mm -hmm. um, after that, the Comores Company uh, was engaged and they asked, you know, can you help us maybe with one of these kids scholarships? Uh, you know, we just need a little bit more money to get her over the hump so that she so that she can go right. to her first year of school. And Camores, instead of doing that, uh, they brought this was brought directly to their chief financial officer, Mark Newman, and he made it very clear that they wanted to do a much bigger investment than that. And so what they ended up doing was establishing a $400,000 scholarship. It's called the Camores Future of Chemistry Scholarship. Nice. And my company, um, we do a lot of work with Camores, and they hired us to make a video about that about that scholarship and about the first recipient mm -hmm. of the money, um, who is Ayanna Kane. Yeah. Um, and there's going to be a link to that video, which is on the Wilmington Love channel mm -hmm. below. And it's about both HBCU Week and the Comores Future of Chemistry Scholarship. Yeah. So shout out to Ashley Christopher and Earl Cooper. I think they're doing a phenomenal job with um, in the mayor's office, especially bringing a lot of um, um, eyeballs to to HBCU Week and and with and, you know diversity within the mayor's office. So I definitely give them a shout out with that. It seems like they don't lose. Like when they try to when when <laughs> like they try that. when they try like to that. do something, it right. works. Yeah. Like it seems like but Ashley and Earl have just been just behind the scenes. They're people who just do stuff. Yeah. And they they ask you know they. They, they they ask for permission later. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Exactly, like they, exactly. just, they just do it and, and this was one of those examples. And you know what's amazing is the the event that they had um, to announce the scholarship, um, they actually got Michelle Obama to deliver uh, a quote for it. Nice. And everybody showed up from Camores, the entire chief executive team. Yeah. And it was a great night, um, and I was really proud that you know I got to direct a video that was shown there. Yeah, a beautiful and was, video. And it was really cool. Thank yeah, you. Beautiful video. I think the video touched on everything. It was it was shot well, but most of all, the information in it was just phenomenal. Um, and it was good to see that like finally, you know, that HBCUs are getting some some major attention here in Delaware. So now, what's your? Do you have any experience with like friends or family who went to HBCUs? Oh man, your bro, your, your boy here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. You, Del State, you Delaware State University. Oh, you're a Del State grad. Oh, I'm a Hornet for life, bro. See, I did not know that. Yeah, Hornet. That's for where life. Ayana's going, by the way. Is yeah. the Del State. So. And she got a she got a full ride, right? Did she get a full ride? Mm. Well, she got a good amount of money. I, I can't. I don't. Yes, she, she got, got she got ten thousand dollars a year, which you know I think with the rest of her yeah. scholarships that she already had, that awesome. Was, that was that it equal the full ride. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, that's. I mean, it's great. Um, it's great stuff. Earl and Ashley, yeah. Mark Newman, Alvinia Scarborough also at Camores, yeah. and um, and everybody else who who was involved in this. Um, and HBCU uh, week is going on right now, and I think they've got a lot more than 700 this year. Brother, let me tell you something. HBCU week this right now is bananas. It it is strictly bananas. I went out. I went to um, went out one night, and they were about 500 people. You know, um, uh, alumni in one building, like in in Bull Bay, just enjoying themselves. So it was beautiful. That's amazing. So, um, you can again, you can see the video about the HBCU Week and the Camores Future of Chemistry Scholarship on the Wilmington Love YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And um, this is just a great story, not only for the mayor's office, but for, you know, the cooperation between our businesses and government in Wilmington doing something really important. Awesome.
Hey guys, the YouTube algorithm requires that I tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. But I also wanted to tell you that if you have a Wilmington story that you want featured on the show, please submit it at stories.wilmington.love. We love to hear from you.